Hi, welcome to the channel. I do get uh, this query quite often uh, related to TCP versus uh, UDP and uh, more specifically uh, people do generally tend to uh, study the test book basics saying that uh, you know UDP is uh, uh, connectionless uh, versus uh, TCP is uh, connection oriented and uh, stuff like that but uh, there's a lot of uh, misconception because uh, uh, earlier in their stage uh, when they are uh, uh, being newly introduced to networking uh, you know they learn about uh, something like packet switching uh, uh, textbook definition and then uh, uh, you know somewhere in the middle they learn about the layers uh, the network layers and then uh, they learn about uh, TCP and UDP and uh, they kind of tend to get confused with all these concepts and then uh, there will be also this uh, uh, frequently asked uh, examination question about uh, TCP and UDP and uh, stuff like that so uh, typically you can uh, you know uh, grasp uh, a basic test book definition uh, it says uh, like you know one of that includes uh, uh, you know TCP is uh, connection oriented you can get the reliable packet transfer and uh, UDP is not and uh, also there are other advantages like uh, uh, you get other uh, indirect advantages of TCP is also you get this flow control and congestion control and uh, stuff like that which is not you know sometimes they do properly mention in this type of uh, books in the college but if you study any advanced uh, uh, topics uh, they do mention about how TCP congestion control works and I do find uh, most of these uh, students who do their masters or PhDs they do tend to work on some uh, congestion control algorithms and uh, uh, they also work on some variants of congestion control, uh, fine tuning some existing algorithm and uh, you know stuff like that. But there is a lot of uh, potential with UDP. What happens is uh, uh, one of the major advantages of UDP itself is its simplicity and it is a uh, protocol which can act as a very good platform. Uh, if you are an advanced uh, network architect and something like that, in that includes something like my situation. See, if you ask me, I do tend to use uh, UDP more extensively uh, than TCP. Sometimes I use uh, uh, UDP as an IPC, one among the IPC and uh, this is something I do. Uh, we do discussions, uh, I do discussions uh, with my students or my clients. So I do use UDP sometimes as in IPC and many don't understand if you ask uh, the overall big picture of why UDP exists it has all these disadvantages in that case why UDP exists uh, typically uh, this is the reason sometimes they may ask in interview the saying that what uh, are the reasons uh, or what type of protocols may use uh, UDP and stuff so uh, you will uh, get some again uh, some internet search you do you will get some various examples like uh, this uh, streaming protocols VoIP uh, like SIP protocols and uh, stuff you get this RTP, RTCP and uh, SIP and all these things uh, goes on UDP and apart from that you get this uh, uh, DNS and other stuff so again uh, you know these are the situation it is quite uh, advantages because if you are streaming any data if there is any packet loss or data loss in between it can continue you you may watch a video and then in between there may be a glitch it may just have a glitch missed frames along with missed frames it may miss that audio track as well so it may produce some kind of clicking sound and then you know the video playback will continue so this is very desirable because if you have uh, uh, done this on TCP if you send this uh, packets on TCP what happens is by the time you receive if any packets are not received the TCP will wait and then it will resend the requests to send those missing uh, you know frames or packets and then it will get those packets and then it will try to render and rearrange and stuff so this is not required if in a sort of you know playback like situation of a streaming data as well as any uh, you know wipe uh, you know data like your uh, skype calls or all all such things google hangouts and uh, stuff like that okay so this is where udp is uh, you know also been used and uh, it is again a part test book definition or an example they mentioned that udp is used in streaming data and stuff but again if you ask uh, on a more advanced level udp is uh, 
if you ask me the one definition i can give the best than this connection correction oriented less is uh, udp the purpose of udp is to have a layer to service on a you know layer for uh, you know platform so this is the right definition i can give say for instance you, you have this uh, layer 2 which is a data link layer the data link layer its purpose is uh, to provide a sort of uh, you know uh, point to point connectivity uh, which means uh, say suppose this uh, system my pc is connected to the router uh, so the pc is connected to the switch and from the switch it is connected to the router so if you take that switch out and in fact if i connect with a single uh, cable from uh, the pc to the router the point to point communication between these two points uh, happens you know we are layer 2 okay on top of the layer to all the additional layers you put it's all virtualized layers for instance uh, you know network layer and transport layer and after that finally the application layer is the actual payload you carry so application layer uh, layer is quite explicit i mean it's just the layer where you actually carry the payload see for instance if i take this uh, uh, pen or uh, uh, yeah if i take this uh, pencil or something you can see the lead inside is the actual usable part and to hold it comfortably you have all this uh, stuff and uh, sometimes if you take any you know mechanical pencils uh, for instance i got one 2b pencil here yeah you can see here this is a mechanical pencil so i can try uh, extracting the lead and i can write with the lead itself but the additional plastic structure around it uh, it is more going to make it comfortable at the same time it also kind of acts as a carrier to carry the lead safely without breaking so it's what it is so this uh, exoskeleton around the lead provides as a sort of a platform to use this pencil so same way uh, if you think about a layer 3 context it's all virtualized uh, uh, stuff and uh, the actual networking part if you always consider application layer is the actual usable data you send from one point to another point so this is what it is so it's not much different if you see any usb communication uh, say for instance this is an external usb drive uh, there is an usb cable and uh, you can see if you connect it to a pc or a laptop the whatever communications happen between this point to this point is what layer 2 purpose is so this is why you have layer 2 and then we have all the additional layers like layer 3 and layer 4 and l3 l4 uh, which an example of l3 l4 is uh, tcp ip and udp ip so if you consider the ip uh, role of ip uh, layer okay ipv4 or ipv6 uh, uh, two you know versions and uh, generally we can call as ip layer okay so if you take uh, ip layer its role is to provide a virtualized address space so that you can communicate from end to end which means i can communicate from my pc to some remote facebook server or google server this end to end communication happens via many point to point links okay so from my pc uh, to the switch from the switch to the router from the router to the other isp router from that to other isp router and uh, stuff like that sometimes they will be tunneled inside and uh, l2 uh, uh, uh framework like mpls and stuff so the routed packets can be converted into a switched data and then again back to routed packets and uh, stuff like that so all these things happen so if you are very new to that you will get still confused so that this what happens so uh you know uh, tcp uh, the role of tcp is to provide that sort of you know communication happens with you know um the acknowledgements and the stuff in place and that's what makes it as connection oriented protocol because every time you send bunch of packets again you need to get an acknowledgement so there is a lot of lag this to and fro lag will be there because this guy cannot pump the packets constantly unless there is an acknowledgement comes for that bunch and once the act packet it receives uh, it knows that okay these packets have been sent successfully and again it will start uh, you know sequencing the other set of packets so this typically happens but in case if you want more control over your you know network platform you have done some experimental setup or you have done some type of a tcp like uh, uh, 
functionality in user space and something like that you want to bypass the tcp and you want to do something based on your platform okay then you can use udp 